The saying that health is wealth is that someone who is healthy is of immense benefit to the society. He or she is therefore prosperous, full of happiness and of sound mind. In Nigeria today, there is an ongoing debate on the quality of healthcare services and the menace of medical tourism, which gulps about $1 billion annually. Consequently, the government of Nigeria has been making concerted effort at repositioning the health sector, and the private sector has been supportive of this quest by providing alternative but quality medical services. One of such private initiatives helping to change the narrative is Nizamiya Hospital, established by the first Surat groups, with the mandate to contribute to the development and growth of the health sector in Nigeria. We are actually a business uh, people in Nigeria. We started with, uh, you know, investing in education. Then from there, our management actually sit down and look at, yeah, there's a, you know, uh, problem in Nigeria, what are the problems, you know, good facility, you know, health facility, we have problem with that. So they decided to come up with something, you know, like uh, Nizami. After the meeting, yes, uh, they come to an agreement that we are to establish a hospital, a world class standard hospital in Nigeria that uh, you know the Nigerians also can be proud of you know and also to court you know all uh, the medical tourism that uh, you know uh, uh, like is popular in Nigeria every day uh, many people are rushing to India you know Germany Dubai for you know minor you know things that can be done in Nigeria here Located in the heart of Idu, an industrial hub of Abuja, Nizamiya edifice can be mistaken for a five-star hotel in Europe or America for a first-time visitor. As a mark of honor and dignity, the hospital typifies its resolve to render medical services in accordance with international best practices through investments on modern medical diagnosis equipment for round-the-clock emergencies. In Nizamiya Hospital, all wards are comfort personified. There are four types of rooms, royal suite, VIP suite, single bedded rooms and two bedded rooms. Each of these rooms is equipped with television, wardrobe, nurse calling button, medical gas connections and a host of other facilities. These wards or rooms are designed to make sure the stay of patients is as pleasant as possible. As a private hospital that renders top quality medical services, what stands Nizamiya Hospital out is its remarkable workforce. A blend of Nigerian and foreign experts, all of whom have distinguished themselves in their areas of specialization. All the experts are resident within the hospital premises for quick services. We invest a lot in this hospital. Uh, for example, we have 20, more than 20 expatriate doctors from different, uh, you know, countries. Hospital is equipment and doctors that make the hospital to, be, to become, you know, hospital. And we have, uh, we have invested in facilities like we have like cat lab and, uh, you know, our lab is up to date, our operation theaters, CM and everything. So that's what makes Nizamie, you know, you know, exceptional from the other, you know, hospital. You can have everything in one building, all in one. In Nizamie Hospital, the nurse is very important. The nurse here is one of the most important personalities in this hospital because as a nurse and doctors in the hospital, we, we cannot work without each other. The doctor and the nurses are working as team workers with other personnel working in the hospital because we are always around our patients. The nurses are like friends to the patients. We are like friends, we are like relatives, we are like the first people the patient come in contact with. 
There are over 18 clinics at Nizamiya Hospital, well equipped with state-of-the-art medical facilities and efficient personnel to deliver world-class treatment which takes Nigerians to Europe and America. Uh, Nizami Hospital is a specialty hospital which involves around 19 specialties including uh, obstetrics and gynecology, general surgery, ophthalmology, cardiovascular surgery, amongst others. One of the key strengths of Nizami Hospital is the emergency services which are manned by experienced and courteous staff who are available 24 hours, 7 days a week. We are running a 24-7 emergency service in this hospital. Also, 24-7 uh, means not only uh, personnel-based, so we have a well-equipped hospital too. For example, uh, if you had a trauma to your chest or your arm, we have a 24-7 running a radiology department, including a x-ray service to see if there is any broken parts broken bones or dislocated joints uh, and if so uh, we have consultants uh, available 24 7 to provide the best uh, proper service to address that problem the well-equipped intensive care unit takes care of the needs of patients battling life-threatening diseases such as cardiovascular diseases orthopedic trauma surgery, pediatric orthopedics, hip joint replacement surgery, post-operation surgery complications, injuries amongst others. As part of its resolve to render effective and efficient services, Nizamir Hospital has four operating suites where surgeries of various magnitudes are undertaken by a mix of experts, both foreign and local. These operating suites are well equipped to ensure maximum care and safety of patients. The following service has been undertaken successfully by the hospital. Endocrine surgery, gastrointestine surgery, anal disease surgery, breast surgery, as well as laparoscopic and oncologic surgery. One of the areas the Nizamiya Hospital prides itself as being a leading specialist hospital is in cardiac related issues. The one-stop cardiac clinic is one of the best in Nigeria and has performed scores of successful cardiac procedures such as coronary angiography, aortic valve replacement, heart catheterization, intracardiac defibrillator, and a host of others. Other procedures include emergency balloon and stent procedures. The open heart surgery team at Nizamiya Hospital is led by a renowned cardiovascular surgeon. The fact that the team is resident in Nigeria distinguishes it in the area because it does not need to fly in any consultant and fly them back after the procedure. At this hospital, one of our core areas of strength in Nizamiya Hospital is a one-stop cardiac center. Um, we have in our employ two professors of um, interventional, interventional cardiology. We also have um, a cardiovascular surgeon. Uh, with over 30 years experience in Europe, they're all here managing the, 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 car, the cardiac center and it's also on record that in this part of the divide, I would just say maybe not in Nigeria, uh, we're the only hospital with a functional cat lab and we receive patients from wide and far to come use these services. And uh, in terms of um, the quality of our expertise, we pride ourselves as one of the best uh, in terms of this because we've conducted um, quite a number of um, open heart surgeries here um, and we've tried to see that the pricing is uh, far lesser than what is uh, what patients go abroad for. Uh, most of the cases uh, people travel abroad for are, are cardiac related and with a facility like this uh, with a cat lab, a functional cat lab, uh, open heart surgery team. I do not see the reason why Nigerians should travel abroad for cardiac related cases. Um, our, our cardiac clinic are manned by two professors of uh, interventional cardiology. 
and we also have a cardiovascular surgeon who has amassed, amassed wealth, years of experience in, the, in this endeavor. And they've all come, decided, elected to come to Nigeria to render these services. And so far, so good. We've been, we've been um, quite, uh, we've offered quite some a number of interventions, and we've also given uh, some patients a reason not to travel abroad, and in a bit to to to, to discourage um, uh, medical tourism. With this nature of services at Nizami Hospital. It therefore means that there is a 100% assurance of success in open heart surgery because the post-operation care will be properly managed to avoid death. This explains why the hospital is always besieged by patients who had gone abroad for these procedures and cannot go back for a follow-up treatment or post-operation management. The services at orthopedic and traumatology clinics are similar to that of any A-list hospital in Europe or America. The facilities are without doubt state-of-the-art and a sign qua non in screening methods and surgery conditions. The clinic deals with all kinds of diagnosis and injuries of muscle and skeletal system. The uniqueness of gynecology and obstetrics clinic is seen in the capacity to perform antenatal care, high-risk pregnancy follow-up, second-level USG screening with Doppler USG, infertile patient follow-up, among others. As uh, the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, we are handling pregnant ladies that want to uh, have antenatal care, which we start as soon as they are pregnant till the delivery time and after the, during the delivery, which we call now uh, labor, as a labor case, which is going to be a different service delivery. However, we, during the antenatal period, we are seeing all sorts of ladies with different uh, normal from being normal to having complicated cases which can be chronic medical cases or some emergencies that can arise unpredictably. So those ones we handle it all in this hospital. We have uh, whichever, whatever is required is available. Also have a very equipped neonatal ICU where we do give, I mean uh, the patients that have problems at birth or after delivery with their neonates are admitted into which is handled by a very seasoned pediatrician, neonatologist. We have a follow-up of every lady that delivers in this hospital, depending on what kind of delivery she had. If she had a normal vaginal delivery, she will be given a six weeks post uh, postpartum uh, checkup. Uh, and those that have a cesarean session will have follow-up post one week, two weeks, and six weeks. Also, the labor ward is a marvel to behold, well designed to give mothers the same comfort as obtained in Europe or America. The patient's delivery room provides comfort for first and second stages of labor with the support of the spouse and maximum attention from the medical team. Another clinic that brings relief to Nigerians at Nizamiye Hospital is the Neurology Clinic, famed for performing all diagnosis and treatment of all nervous system diseases that do not require surgical intervention. The clinic offers emergency neurology medicine for inpatient and outpatient healthcare services as well as consultation services. As a neurologist, I see a lot of cases that are quite severe, like stroke patients, epilepsy, severe neuropathic pain, some uh, pathologies of neuromuscular system and it's very important to be able to diagnose it on time so that we can provide uh, treatment fast. In Nizamiya Hospital we have good facilities to do it. For example, we have a good laboratory where we can do EEG, electroencephalography and EMG, electromyography. We can do it very fast and we can also get the report the same day, which will allow us to prescribe medication for the patients with epilepsy or neuromuscular disease on time. Also, we have a very good emergency department, which has good doctors, and also we have an opportunity to do CT scan and MRI on time. The urology clinic is up and running 
and provides quality diagnosis and medical surgical treatment for all urological conditions. This can also be said about the pulmonary clinic which is headed by an experienced consultant pulmonologist experienced in treating diseases of the lung. The radiology clinic is home to modern gadgets and skilled staff. This clinic is open 24 hours, 7 days a week and carries out interventions where necessary in the following areas ultrasonography, computed tomography, MRI, mammography, x-ray and many others. Other clinics at Nizamiya Hospital include Ophthalmology Clinic, Dental Clinic, Anesthesiology Clinic and Reanimation Clinic, Dermatology Clinic, Pediatric Clinic and ENT Clinic. The Nizamiya Hospital has invested heavily in equipping her laboratory to ensure that results from her labs meet international standards. The eye-catching modern equipment in microbiology, pathology, hematology, biochemical and hormonal labs delivers standard test results within the shortest time. Our laboratory at this hospital is open 24 hours and our machines, our tests, they are all calibrated. And also we do culture so for infections and also we do serological tests to provide the diagnosis of infection diseases. In our laboratory, we are performing almost all of the laboratory tests and we are trying to give quick results. In two to three hours, our patients can get their results from our laboratory. We see a wide range of in, uh, disease conditions in, regarding the woman's health. And uh, the beauty of everything is that the patients do not have to waste too much time in queue. Two, the results are updated and given immediately, an hour or plus, depending on this condition of uh, the patient presenting. And there's also a very big advantage from other hospitals is because the system is computerized, so the results are gotten immediately and there's absence of missing results, which do happen when hands are changed in labs. Now, the patients are quite satisfied with such services which are given promptly. The equipment we have here, which is Quantum Studio 6, is able to give a very high level standard result that is beyond imagination. And we have a turnaround time of less than six hours. And it has the capacity of giving results of over 96 samples in two hours. This was designed basically to solve the gap of saying patients has to wait for 24 hours or 48 hours before getting COVID-19 result. And as you all know, Nizamir was structured to solve medical gaps, which this laboratory is not an exception. Similarly, the hospital also operates a high-quality pharmacy which runs 24 hours and also 7 days a week. The usual out-of-stock OS language is not spoken by the well-trained pharmacist. Drugs in the hospital are sourced from both local and foreign markets. At Nizamiya Hospital, everything is not about profits. However, we have a heart of giving back to the public by way of free medical outreach and checkups. We have carried out hundreds of free medical outreaches and checkups on indigent people in rural areas, public schools, orphanages, and IDP camps. From the inception of the hospital in uh, 2014, one of the foundations with which we uh, promised to deliver in terms of uh, uh, quality health care service was to ensure that we give as much back uh, to the society and that is, uh, if you ask, manifest in our corporate social responsibility uh, initiatives that we designed alongside with uh, medical services uh, in the hospital. As a hospital, um, we see um, our CSR initiative as, as important as the medical services we render. 
and um, the management of the hospital has been so gracious to ensure that on uh, the impact of Nizami Hospital is as a first felt within our environment, the locality with which we operate, which is uh, the Hindu East Industrial Estate region. And not just that, we've also taken um, uh, services to other states of the country, um, in the north and other parts of the country too. And we've actually reached out to quite a number of persons. And in Abuja, for instance, uh, the Karamajiji Lepers Colony were a regular feature in the Karamajiji Lepers Colony because uh, we try to reach out to people that are in need of uh, medical services that cannot afford the services. And uh, to the best of our ability, I think we've been able to contribute positively and meaningfully to the lives of these um, indigent people. And if I want to give an example, I'll use our cataract surgery, free cataract surgery um, program for indigent people. On a weekly basis, we conduct five free cataract surgery programs for indigent people. So far, so good. We've been able to carry out over uh, 500 cataract, free cataract surgeries. For the whole of 2019, we, we did about 500 free cataract surgeries for indigent people. And if you want to look at the totality of what we have been able to do uh, from inception, I think we've close to uh, more than um, uh, 3,000 free cataract surgeries for indigent people. And this is not just it. Uh, we also carry out medical um, outreaches in rural communities, in schools, uh, public schools, I mean, um, in orphanages and quite a number of um, hard to reach places. Our doctors go there, uh, they conduct medical outreaches for indigenous people and in some instances where we encounter um, very uh, kids or children for instance with um, their need of um, major surgeries and what we do in such situations we partner with our sister organization the NTIC Foundation and we bring these patients to the hospital and we conduct and these surgeries absolutely for free without charging them a dime. Looking back at the feats of the Rural Health Initiatives, one can see that it has over the years been a source of relief to thousands of people. In addition, we have performed hundreds of full cataract surgery for those suffering from either partial or complete blindness and have had their sight restored. In furthering the body of medical knowledge, Nizamiya Hospital serves as a teaching hospital to the Faculty of Medical Sciences of Nile University, Abuja. It also serves as a referral hospital to lots of public and private hospitals in Nigeria. We have over 100 students from the Nile University undergoing their internship here. The hospital has this, uh, the plan of expanding to accommodate cancer cases by setting up a cancer center and um, enough uh, plan, plan as uh, work has gone into this regard and uh, we are hoping very soon we should be able to start to commence work on the construction as well as the equipment of the cancer center uh, in the hospital. What we do is make sure there's somebody around to mediate between our consultants and the patients. As you know, we run a full-time clinic services, meaning Mondays to Fridays, our consultants are in the clinics and they are there available for their patients. As a patient in Izami Hospital, we try our best possible to make sure that there's someone that mediates between you and your consultant and there's someone that knows all your medical history at a given point in time. We have receptionists or secretaries on standby to help direct you and guide you around where we need to go to, which consultant you ought to see, all referrals to the lab and your radiology department. So we just don't have confusion around you, try to get everything done in order. So in as much as we have compassion around, you can trust us to be orderly in what we do. With these efficient services, the hospital has exemplified itself as a hospital that has handled challenges and conquered new grounds. I came here on the 10th of February, 2017. I was having chest pain going to the hospitals, different hospitals, but finally I was referred to here for a geography. On the day of the angiography, I had a cardiac arrest. I had 95% blockage of the main artery. Nizami saved my life. Nobody thought as, uh, in Nigeria such operation could be taking place. Nizami has given me back my life. 
I was 95% gone. My family, I, I didn't know what happened. I, they didn't know I would survive it. Because of Nizami Hospital is here in Nigeria, I'm calling others to come here to Nizami Hospital instead of going abroad. What is there, it's already here in Nizami Hospital. I was diagnosed of high blood pressure and I've moved to so many hospitals. Then later on, my husband suggests we should come to Nizania Hospital. I was surprised, I was really surprised when we came. I saw a team of doctors, they are just even waiting for me. Before we know it, they have even operated me. They took the baby to ICU and they, my baby was less than one kg. They brought her, they removed her less than one kg. Now this is the baby in my hand. There are few individuals or organizations that would commit such enormous resources to provide Nigeria with quality medical services. But the first Surat Group, owners of Nizamiye Hospital, spared no expense in ensuring the quality of its workforce is top-notch. The management of the hospital will continue to appreciate the authorities in Nigeria for providing the enabling environment for the hospital to provide trusted medical services for Nigerians. Indeed, this is a bold step to stem the tide of medical tourism as well as reduce congestion on tertiary medical facilities in Nigeria. There is no doubt that the Nizamiye Hospital is indeed a world-class multi-specialist hospital with conducive structures and services comparable to what is obtained in foreign clinics. Anyone that loves Nigeria must remember that charity begins at home and the Nizamiya Hospital is a worthy example of where charity should start from as well as attract medical tourists to Nigeria.